I'm going to go ahead and try out the Hearts of Palm pasta and the chicken meatballs from Trader Joe's. Um, there is an air fryer option as far as cooking here. They have four different cooking options and I'm going to do the air fryer 390 for six minutes. So I'm going to get that going. Then I'm just going to make like a creamy sauce with a little bit of heavy cream and some Parmesan, Parmesan cheese and probably some garlic salt and toss the pasta in that. This just says to, as far as stove top, put it into a saucepan and heat for approximately five minutes and then serve with your favorite sauce. Maybe I'll cook it for five minutes in the saucepan and then kind of move it to the side and put this in there, get it all melted and then stir it all together. Here's what the inside of the package looks like. When I opened it, the first thing I thought of when I smelled it was like canned bamboo shoots or canned baby corn. Like when you open a can of one of those things, it just has a really distinct smell. That's what these smell like. sticking to the bottom of the pan here. It didn't say anything about putting oil or anything down and it didn't say anything about temperature. So I have it down like medium low now because I don't want it to burn on the bottom but it's only been cooking for like two minutes and I don't want to I don't want it to completely burn or stick. My pans kind of full so I'm gonna go ahead and move these over to a bowl and then I can do the sauce. They really did stick badly, so I'm going to do it differently next time. There's a microwave option that might be better. The meatballs are done. I'm just going to put in some cream. This amount of noodles is supposed to be about three servings, so that's what I'm thinking of as far as the sauce. Throw in some Parmesan. And I'm just going to use some of the Redmond garlic salt. Okay, I'm just going to toss these noodles in here real quick, and then I think I'm going to run out to the garden and get some fresh parsley, because this needs a little bit of green. That looks pretty delicious. Here are the meatballs after six minutes. They could probably stand to get a little bit crispier, but I think I'm going to call it good. All right, that doesn't look half bad. Okay, let's see how this is. It's definitely delicious. Flavors are really good. The pasta, it you can tell it's a vegetable. Like there's no getting around that. It tastes fibery. It it really reminds me of bamboo shoots. If you were to really thinly slice bamboo shoots, I bet it would be very similar to the Hearts of Palm. But there's not any weird flavors, so that's good. It's very, you know, it just soaks up whatever flavor you put on it. You're definitely not going to fool anybody to think it's real pasta. But it does, you know, give the effect. It gives you something that's going to soak up some sauce. I think it's pretty good. I'd probably get it again. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off now, and I'm going to enjoy my lunch. I also wanted to mention that the meatballs are actually pretty tasty. They're pretty basic, not like anything huge to write home about, but they taste good. They have good flavor. They're easy. So for a really quick and easy protein source, I think it's a good option. I am ready to cook up this pork belly and give it a try. So the box for heating instructions says remove from the package and rinse under cold water. Pat dry with a paper towel. And then um, I think I'm just going to brown it whole in a medium-sized skillet over medium heat, brown on all sides until golden and crisp. 
So seems pretty simple. That's what it looks like. Looks like a lot of fat. It's a little bit difficult to brown on all sides because the sides are not flat. I'm wondering if this would work better in an air fryer. That would be an interesting experiment, but I really wanted to do it just like the package directions. So I'm making lots of smoke because I have to get this uh, browned on all sides and uh, the rest of the pan is just sitting here smoking. Um, and it does like to stick. I don't have a non-stick pan here, so trying to wait for it to cook long enough to release. So, kind of annoying. Hopefully it'll be delicious enough to make it worth it. All right, I think I'm gonna call that good. It looks similar to the package. I think, I think I got it about brown enough. It was pretty annoying to cook it in the pan. Um, Cause you have to cook it a long time to get it crispy and the rest of the pan is like hot and burning, lots of smoke. So probably wouldn't cook it. If I got this again, I probably wouldn't cook it the same way. I'd either slice it like they say you can do and uh, fry it that way. So it fills up more of the pan or air fry it if I want to do it whole or air fry the slices that might work as well. But I'll let this rest for just a minute before I cut into it. All right, let's see how this turned out. I was worried that since it's so thick, it's not gonna get warm all the way to the middle. Oh, it did get warm. I still think it'd be better in the air fryer. It looks good though. There's what it looks like. So all of this is fat up here. There's a little bit of meat. Of course, that's how pork belly is. I definitely think I would like it better sliced and then fried or sliced and then air fried. So I'm gonna taste this real quick, but then I'm probably gonna put all of the slices into the air fryer. All right, let's give this a taste test. Very tasty, very, very tasty. It's the kind of thing I can't eat very much of because it's so rich, but it's really, really good. I cooked them in the air fryer at 400 for five minutes, and I think they look pretty good. I let it cool for a minute. Now I'm gonna try an air fried piece. Definitely air frying was the way to go. So good, still like soft fat and like melt in your mouth. But then that other little bit of crisp, so, so good. Definitely recommend. A couple more products I wanted to give a real quick review of here. Both of these were absolutely excellent. I loved the garlic jalapeno stuffed olives. They weren't too spicy, just a little bit of spice at the end, uh, but I don't like you know too hot and spicy, and so these were perfect. Really, really good flavor, really yummy, and I liked that the ingredients didn't have any junky oils or anything like that. Um, so definitely recommend the garlic jalapeno stuffed olives. This crunchy jalapeno lime and onion was so good. And I think it's actually better than the um, chili onion crunch that was so good. I loved the lime flavor. It like hits you right at first, like this really nice tang of the, you know, lime citric acid. And then it's got, of course, the crunchy onions and the jalapenos. And it is a little bit spicy, but again, it wasn't too spicy for me. I like just a little bit, enough to get the flavor, but not enough to like burn my mouth off. And this definitely was not too spicy for me. I think the flavor was excellent. I also really liked that it didn't give me any digestive trouble, like the chili onion crunch. If I ate too much of that, it would give me some digestive issues. Um, but this I did not notice at all. So 
Very happy with this product, 100% recommend.